in this video i want to show you guys how to turn any 2d image into 3d using a microsoft copilot so this is a experimental feature right now so you have to go to this website copilot labs website i'll put a link in the description for my blog post there you'll find the link and here you can use the copilot 3d feature 3d for everyone from imagination to creation so it can basically turn any image into 3d and i have actually created one <laughs> 3d model here of shrek so this was a png image but now look at this so if you're a 3d artist or you need a 3d model of something for some reason let's say you use blender and you want a 3d model of something for your work so you can use this to generate the 3d model of your imagination or of your image and then use it on blender or whatever 3d modeling software you use so on this website you can go to explore ideas and from here you can actually select other people's work uh, like for example one of these models created by others like for example this lantern okay and you can download this as a 3d model and use it or you can upload your own picture let's say for example cat why not and i'm gonna upload that and i'm gonna click on create and it's gonna start generating the 3d model from that image so this is just a normal image of a cat okay it's not 3d you can see here so the process is complete now we can go here and check out the 3d model of our cat it's not perfect the lighting is messed up <laughs> i guess but it did work okay it created the 3d picture of that cat for some pictures it actually works really well for example for the shrek image it actually worked really well yeah it's a pretty good 3d model so depending on how complex the image is and the lighting yeah it tries its best to generate a good looking 3d model okay so let's try with the minecraft uh, character the model is pretty good actually yeah the eyes are a little bit messed up maybe we can do some editing uh, in 3d modeling software like in blender or something but the 3d model is actually pretty good yeah there are some color issues but other than that the structure of th the 3d model is actually good maybe not the texture oh we can actually remove the texture so yeah we can put our own texture here we can have the model without the texture or with the texture now let's try this on the emoji this wow emoji or shocked emoji <laughs> and let's see how it looks so yeah it's actually pretty good i'm actually not a 3d artist uh, i have actually created a 3d model by myself with my own hands uh, actually let me show you guys what it is this one uh, i use this 3d model for my gaming channel i actually created this by myself and it took me a couple of weeks to create this you know i had to create texture and all that now uh, to create something like this i can actually use this you know i can you know kind of draw or create a 2d image in photoshop or krita and then you know i can turn that into 3d model and just import it into uh, 3d modeling software yeah, it's much easier now <laughs> to create 3d models you don't have to do it by hands i know this is a simple model i know okay but for non-3d artist who has no knowledge about the 3d modeling and all that uh, this is still a pretty difficult thing to do. Maybe the Snapchat Studio isn't that difficult to use, but for new users, new to the 3D modeling, yeah, it's kind of difficult, especially when you're applying the texture. I have changed the texture for this model many times, and yeah, this is the final thing. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for my gaming channel i rarely post there but you can see me there playing games using this head this is a 3d minecraft thingy head this is the one and only 3d creation that i did i can say i'm a 3d artist now oh <laughs> it didn't work that well i guess for the shape 
it works really well okay it will accurately uh, try to create the shape but for some textures it might not work that well okay it might not be able to apply textures correctly like for example i don't know how and why but in the shrek model the texture is perfectly applied you can download the 3d models by clicking on the download button here so i have downloaded this shrek 3d model here so let's find something online that can view the 3d model and look at that yeah this is our 3d model so you can do the similar thing in uh, the 3d modeling software you can import the 3d model and you know rest you can also see the wireframes uh, these are the things that we can change to move the character or animate the character so we can zoom in so you can see there are a lot of wireframes <laughs> so again i'm not a 3d artist but this is pretty cool okay if i ever need to create a 3d model i can use this so yeah this is pretty cool pretty handy a feature in Microsoft Copilot. Again, this is still in experimental, so you'll have to use it through the labs, the Copilot labs. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye. -bye.